It has come to my attention that I'm not the only one bothering the dead on the server. While Nashcrafter's drowned farm is no danger to me, I feel it fitting that we shall warn our fellow necromancer of the dangers of the art. Today we shall teach her when you summon a fish much bigger than you anticipate. Hey yo pretty people, my name is Blackxp and welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. Friends, in the previous episodes I asked you which one should we prank, Whip or uh, Nash Crafter? And you delivered and uh, voted that we shall prank Nash Crafter, which I obviously am kind of agreeing with. You see, uh, I've been roleplaying as a necromancer, the Lord of Undead, this whole time from the very first episode, and he should just comes and builds a drowned farm, knowing darn well that drowned are undead. Now, obviously, we will not be absolutely decimating any of her equipment. Just because we will not, this is not a full frontal assault, friends. This is just us taking, putting a little foot uh, into the door, door frame and telling her, hey, hi, I'm also here, and uh, I see what you're doing, and uh, just bear in mind, look at what I'm doing too, okay? Okay, uh, so we, we, will, we will be going a tiny bit tamer than we did with Pixel Roof, uh, but however, still, we are gonna prank her today. So why, I hear you ask, am I at Mythical Sausages base? <laughs> what kind of question is, even is that, guys? Check it out, isn't it pretty? Because it really is, it really, really is one of the prettier ones uh, at the beginning of this, uh, of this series, no less. Guys, it's only been like two weeks and he has already this entire pirate fort built. Sausage is amazing at what he does and at what he doesn't do. So yeah, that's why I'm here. But also main reason is actually because he has a fish farm. And uh, behind the scenes we contacted each other and agreed that uh, he will provide some name tags for my uh, undead army. And it just so happens that uh, in exchange for name tags, he also wanted a thing that I can produce produce uh, ridiculous amounts of. And that is, of course, gunpowder. So, I figured might as well go visit him before we do any of the actual pranking and drop off the gunpowder that we agreed on. <laughs> I know for a fact that his fish farm uh, hut is out there. So what I was thinking of doing is leaving this box here, filling it all the way up, and uh, let's see. Fish farm, fish farm, fish farm. Name tag, name tag, na name tags. So there you go. Thank you so much for basically a hundred and a half of uh, undisponable zombies. Uh, sausage, uh, here's your reward, but you know what? We can't just leave it like that. We need to attach some sort of a message. Here you go, we're gonna leave a note. Greetings, mortal! The Legion shall not forget your generous donation. In the hour of our victory, we'll be sure to eat you last. Please accept this box of gunpowder as a sign of our gratitude. Let it be known that we do not forget. The undead. Hey, man! Grab this. You're not really good at grabbing, are you? There you go, much better. You even have a please kill me sign on top of him just so uh, you understand that you have to kill him to get a message from him. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this, guys, because uh, it seems like a very fun way of transferring messages over on the server. But yeah, our job here is basically done. Oh look, and I just noticed, he's also a lefty. That's quite rare. Anyway, anyway, we got our name tags, we gotta go back to our base, grind up some drowned and some materials for a prank. Let's get to Nashcrafter's place. Let's uh, ruin it forever! Okay, now for the main course. Now, we won't be pranking Nash's main base just yet, because basically there's nothing to prank out there. I just went there, outside of the zombie farm, there's nothing, it's, there's no structures. However, here in the spawn area, uh, she has a nice spawn house, which she recently apparently converted to community crop and cow farm, which pretty noble, uh, if you ask me. 
and a seller for the nether wards of which actually myself might grab some because you know i don't i don't have any i don't have a i don't have a supply of nether wards i was too late to explore the rest of the the rest of the nether the the nether fortresses uh often nearby so yeah that's quite useful that's quite nice and uh really props to her for doing this but what uh, this is why we will not be doing anything with this bit here building at all the one that we will be most mostly attacking is down here nash's smugglers abode and yeah you guessed it correctly it's a cave it's a cave that also at the same time looks pretty drownable to me there you go this thing is basically entirely submerged now well okay submerged not necessarily waterlogged uh there are still se several blocks that i need to waterlog properly but other than that yeah it looks precisely the way i want it to and the way i'm planned uh so if you think though that this is already bad you just wait you just wait because for in a moment we're gonna contextualize it and you're gonna realize where all this water is actually coming from <laughs> and pinky promise this is gonna be both hilarious and terrifying just you wait <laughs> This face as she's as, as as sits as the face the, the thing is just drooling <laughs> into her cave with all her, all her stuff. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, okay. I calm down. I calm down, but I, I just absolutely love it. I just absolutely love this idea that some sort of a giant drowned not just made its way through the ocean all the way to her place, but also of all the things this ginormous undead monster could do the one thing he chose to do is to just drool or i don't know vomit i don't know just sploosh out of his mouth just maybe he, maybe he's so drooly because he's he wants to eat all the cows and the donkey i don't know maybe oh okay okay i'll come down i'm fine i'm fine i'm, I'm great i love this prank but 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 it is not done yet it is not done we are still due to stuff this thing full of drowned zombies or regular zombies whatever whatever i feel like really so let me go back to my place grab the zombies and grab another very interesting thing that i'm sure all of you will really appreciate because right now just looking at this yeah it's fun and it's like obviously a slow prank just from looking at it but at the same time, it's kind of too small to be a slow prank, right? There's no rhyme to it, there's no reason to it. And uh, on top of that, if this would be like just flooding somebody else's house entirely from the, on, on the inside uh, with water, it's too big of a thing, too mean of a thing 
to put onto somebody who really hasn't yet done anything against us and in fact might end up being a pretty useful asset later. So let me go grab another thing that will basically turn this entire prank around, I promise. Okay, so I had no idea, but apparently drowned are chill. Like, look at them. They're just chilling. They're not even like tracking me, not in the slightest. I'm right here. They don't seem to give the slightest of a crap. Yeah. These seem like people to have around. Hey, glob glob. Grab a head, put it on. We're going to Nashcrafter's place. Well, this is going to be a problem. So this is a bit of a comedy gold right here. Green light. Red light. Hey guys. Green light. Red light. <laughs> Green light. Red light. <laughs> oh my god. Such a nice procession we got here. Hey guys, you feel like this entire march would be more fun if we, uh, if all of us suddenly Broken to a song. Come on, I'll start and you pick up. Oh, wake me up! Wake, wake me up, up inside! We pick up! Wake, wake me up inside! Save me! And there you have it. A bunch of zomboids kind of roaming around, all renamed Glob Glob. Because I, for some reason, felt like that's, that was a funny name. Do I still have. Yeah, there we go. You too shall be a Glob Glob. Don't worry. Everybody can be a Glob Glob if they really, really want. Uh, so, yeah, I had some trouble uh, kicking them into the ac their actual spot inside of the cave. But still, still, uh, they will add some, you know, ominous uh, presence to the entire uh, entire prank idea. And plus, it's just it's just fun, you know, making the drone out of zombies. Uh, one thing I too noticed on top of that, uh, they are not uh, tracking a player when it's day, because they apparently do track a player when it's night. Uh, the other thing is, I noticed that no matter even if your uh, audio levels for the hostile monsters is at zero, they still will make a, a noise when they transform from a zombie to a drowned, and that's pretty fun too, pretty interesting detail there. However, however, I can see right now that this thing here is tiny bit, you know, too mean still. We flooded a person's base, we ruined a person's lawn, we dropped a bunch of zombies onto that person. Let's let's try and kind of make up for it. You know, I like my pranks. My just gen genuine idea is that every prank shall be a double-edged thing and go. I'm trying to talk about a very important and inf interesting issue. Shh, shh, shh. Be gone! Be, be gone, demon! Ha! Aha! <laughs> Witness the power of progress! I want my things being kind of, you know, rough but fair. That's the general, uh, that's the general feel I always go with my pranks, except when it's like on pixel risk, but you get my point. And that is why I cannot just let her, let Nash, uh, without at the very least a semblance of a presence. This here thing will basically eliminate her need, an, an, any need, to actually dry that cave out. This, if it works correctly, and if she even notices it at, uh, at all, should make uh, should basically make up for all the shenanigans that I caused. And yes, I will probably uh, help her out cleaning this up if she so says afterwards. But for now, I just really want to see if it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will not be activating it. I will leave it to Nash herself to find and activate the conduit. But I will... I will give it to her, okay? This is tiny bit of a present hidden in a much, 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 much bigger prank. I don't know if you can even spot it. Not quite there, is it, inside of the water. Ah, but anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> I still love the face I gave to this stupid thing, and I feel like this entire thing was kind of brilliant. So, do let me know what you think in the comments. Um, obviously, since this one has less moving parts, uh, it has less of a chance to screw up. 
And uh, yeah, let me think. Let me know who do you think I should be pranking next. But that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do a leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, do subscribe. And uh, I'm looking forward to Nash's reaction to this entire thing. As should you be looking forward to Nash's reaction reaction uh, uh, video to this entire thing. Uh, to be continued. Have a good one. Bye-bye.